So some of you guys saw on my YouTube channel this um, time lapse of this sci-fi space battle cruiser ship that I did. It's uh, it's not a highly detailed model, but it was kind of an afternoon's playing around with Blender, and I came up with this. Um, some of you asked for a more of a full-on tutorial, so this is it. Um, we're not going to be creating exactly the same thing because every time I do something, it comes out different anyway. Because um, I'm not working from reference imagery or anything, it just comes out of my head. So uh, there's going to be quite a lot of repetition in this, so I may go to time lapse at some points as well. Um, otherwise, you know, the video will be eight hours long or something. But uh, this should give you the basic idea as to how I work and how I modeled this and how I did the main features and textures so you can create your own. So um, I'll start off with the basic square. Um, I'll jump over into edit mode and subdivide this. I'm going to grab these vertices on this side. So B, drag and select, X and V, remove those vertexes. Add a mirror modifier. Turn on clipping so the vertexes don't overlap. Okay, now we can start. So I'm going to grab these two faces. I'm going to extrude them out. I'm going to grab these faces. All of this. I'm going to drag that out. Maybe these also a little bit. Okay. Now I'll select these front faces. We we'll hit E to extrude. Actually, we've already got one set there, so I'll just hit G for now. Y to drag on the Y axis. Scale this down a little bit. Now I'll extrude. Scale again. Extrude again. Scale again. Okay. Now I think I want my underneath part to come in a little bit further, so I'm going to grab the edges here. We'll move those in. And these also. All right, I'm good with that. Okay, so there's our basic beginning shape of our fuselage. Uh, I think I'm I want to make that front a little bit wider, so a little bit higher. I'm just going to drag that down slightly. And this. I want that to be more of a bowl shape on the bottom. Okay. Now we're going to come out backwards. Grab our faces, extrude back, scale in, extrude back again, scale again. We're not going to go as narrow at the rear as we did at the front, but that's enough. Now I'm going to add in a loop cut. You 
here. Grab this edge. And move it out. And back and up. And this is going to be our rear wing area. And I'm going to grab these and extrude that upwards. It's going to be our cockpit. Going to make the wing a bit bigger. Yeah. I'm going to grab this edge. I want to give this more of an airfoil shape. I'm going to drag that edge up. That edge down and this edge down. And on the wing tip, we want this to be quite narrow. Okay, so I don't want to get too bogged down in minor details, you know, but you want to get the basic shape concept in place. Make sure our grid's flowing nicely. Because even though this is a mechanical shape, you still want to have a nice polygon flow. I'm going to bring some of these edges up a little bit. I want it to be more curved towards the front. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, and then maybe also these here. Drag them down a little bit. Just want to work on creating some interesting shapes and geometry that we can then build off of later. I think maybe underneath here will be our engines or something. So uh, might be a good place for the engines and underneath there, the propulsion system coming out out of there maybe. That could be cool. All right. Like I said, I don't really have any specific idea in mind. It's a general kind of shape, and then I work from there. All right, now I'm going to add a loop cut into this edge. And I'm going to grab these two edges here, bring that out. More than those two. I think I'll grab all of these edges along here and bring all of those out. Gives our sh ship a little bit of shape to the edges. So, you know, we're still kind of working on finer, de um, um, bigger details here. We're not really getting into the fine details, but, you know, we blocked out the main shape and now we're beginning to just refine that shape a little bit without getting too bogged down in too many details. I'm going to grab this front. And here, I think, bring it all down. Maybe the whole thing. My front edge. I still want to come up like that. Okay, and then this also then I want to bulge out a little bit, so we'll add in another loop cut now. I'm going to 
drag that whole thing out a little bit. Okay, and now I'm just going to add a little bit of detail at the front here before we go on to the cockpit area. Whoops, I'm just going to switch this into orthogonal mode. Okay, this front vertex here, I want this to be more square. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to combine those two faces. And I'll remove the leftover vertices. So do that, we come to merge at the first one we selected. And kind of the same here, we don't need these multiple faces. So I try and keep the geometry as clean as possible as I'm going along. It's easier than having to do a lot of cleaning up of mess later. Okay. So now we're going to do some work on the cockpit area. It's too boxy at the moment, of course. that front edge back the vertex in actually I'm going to bring all these vertices in tapering further towards the rear So move the rear ones down. And I'm gonna shift that out a little bit. So it overhangs slightly at the back. And we've got something funky going on with the geometry there. too far both out together okay so we'll do it the rear so it's still quite boxy but we're getting there we're starting to get this spacecraft shape that we're looking for so I'll tidy up a little bit on the wing here when you add in these loop cuts sometimes you end up with additional edges where maybe you didn't really need them so I just like to keep those tidy Again, and around here at the rear of the wing, I ended up with these extra faces that I didn't need. Might make use of that though. We'll grab that edge, we'll drag that edge out.
Not too sharp, just a little bit. That works. Just to make sure we've got no renegade vertices around. Okay, we're good with that. Right. So let's have a look at this from the side view. I'm into object mode. Yeah. I think it's a little bit wide and not quite long enough. So I might just want to extend the length a little bit. The proportions are a little bit off. I think I want it to be more sleek, more streamlined. So what we'll do is grab these front faces. All of this. I'm going to drag all that out. Okay. And then we move the edges in slightly. What kind of shape do we want to this? Pull it out a little bit. Just bear with me here while I come up with a kind of design. Like I said, I'm doing doing this off the top of my head, so you got to bear with me in places. But you should be getting the idea now as to basically what we're doing. Uh, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You just grab these edges and faces and push and pull them around move the vertices around into the shape that you want them to be really that's that's pretty much all there is to it that's a little bit better Okay, let's take a look at that in edit mode. So we've got some hard edges here. We'll, we'll sort that stuff out later though, but there's our basic shape. So I'm kind of happy with that. I think that's good for part one of this tutorial. We've gone on long enough right now. Um, so there's our basic blocked out shape in part two. We'll be going in and starting to add more details again and refining it further. Um, just before we go, I think, I think I'm just going to lift up this center part a little bit just before we finish off this tutorial just going to drag that up a little bit yeah maybe the center one even more whoops yeah okay i think that's cool all right so I hope you got something that looks like this or something out of your own imagination. Um, and I'll see you in part two of this spaceship modeling tutorial.